Hello everyone, this is FunshineX, and this is episode 3 of the Computer Craft Challenge, the Turtle Replication um, Survival Map. And uh, last time, if you remember, we in the first episode we actually chopped down this tree to get some fuel and some wood. In the second episode we dug down to get some dirt and some cobble. And I told you in the third episode we were going to either try and get some saplings or we are going to try and get some more trees. And uh, I decided to go ahead and get some more trees first. Um, but I'm going to write a sapling function in there eventually um, to get the saplings to drop from this first tree. Um, but I wanted to get kind of moving on exploring the area around him. Um, if you notice, there's a, a couple different things. I can't remember if this was in the last video, but I added single player commands to my world um, just so I can copy um, the area as a schematic and then load it up again when I need to run uh, start the turtle from scratch because I was having to like fill in his hole and replant the tree and everything like that so this makes it a lot easier I just come up here to the red block do a slash load a schematic load and then slash paste uh, and then just place my turtle back down so yeah no problems there um, this purple area is the boundary he cannot go outside so it's just one beyond the boundary so if he ever goes outside it I know there's a problem and let's start and look and see what code changes I ha I put in place. Uh, if you guys want to watch me code this, you're welcome to come onto my Twitch TV account. It's twitch.tv slash funshinex. And that's where I'm doing most of the development. And then I'm just giving you updates on the YouTube channel. Okay, so the first thing I did was I rewrote a bunch of the movement functions. So let's go way down here. Just watch the text scroll. And uh, let's get to the movement stuff. Okay, so I wrote a go home function, and that just uh, goes to calls another method and passes zeros for everything, and that's the x, the y, the z, and the facing. And you'll see the actual go function is right below. Um, so it basically from where he's at to a specific location go there automatically, even if something gets in the way or anything like that. So the first thing I do is I try and get him to the right height. Um, so I'm going to run a loop until the current y is um, or equals until it equals the right the right height sorry um, if his current y is greater than the desired y then I know he needs to go down and I think that's what that comment says and so I'm gonna go ahead and just in case anything's under me I'm gonna attack it now there's no harm for this this doesn't use any fuel or anything um, I couldn't tell if this used uh, time like if it actually takes time for him to try and attack or not but um, yeah I just put it in there just in case something gets in his way uh, if he detects something down we're gonna go ahead and dig it out of our way and then at that point we'll move down uh, LT needs to go up so I'll attack up see if there's anything in his way on the up and then move up um, Why is this copied twice? Hold on, I need to fix it. Okay, it was just an issue with copy and paste. I had a double thing there. It wasn't really affecting the code, but I got rid of it. Um, so once I know he's at the right height, let's go ahead and solve, make sure he's the right X coordinate. Um, if his current location on the X axis is greater than what I want to go on the X, then he needs to go north, or he needs to go south, sorry, behind him. And so I'm going to keep turning right until I'm facing south or face two and otherwise um, I'm going to keep turning around until he's facing north that means he, uh, facing zero once I know he's facing the right direction I can just go ahead and attack in front of him uh, if there's anything in front of him dig it out and then move forward and do the exact same thing with the Z turn right until it's facing either east or west depending on which way it needs to go and then attack to dig and go forward uh, once I get to the right place, then all I need to do is face the correct direction, so I just go ahead and spin him around until he's the current face is equal to the desired face. And that's that. Okay, then I went ahead and updated some of my movement functions to make them more uh, robust. Um, so if something does get in their way or something happens, then they can still move. So, um, first I have this can move variable set to false and then I'm going to go check the boundaries of our area um, so if he's outside the 16 by 16 range um, if he's inside then I set can move to true that means he's allowed to move once I know if he's allowed to move then I um, 
call this the base turtle forward function. And what's cool about that function is it returns true or false whether he did move or not. So if something was in his way, or um, either a block or a mob or a player or anything like that that's in his way, uh, this will return false. Um, so if either of those return false, either he can't move because he's outside the boundary or there's something in his way, uh, then I won't, up I won't update the, uh, his position. Otherwise I will update it and so I'll either increment the X or the Z, decrement the X to Z, that kind of thing based on what he's facing. Um, if he couldn't move, I don't know if it's either block in his way or a mob in his way, so I'm just going to attack just in case. And I'm going to return false so that I know whenever I call turtle.move, if something was in his way, I'll get a false back. And uh, turtle back is the exact same, just reversed. Uh, turtles is kind of the same thing. Um, it says if, if there's nothing above him, and uh, turtle attack returns false, attack up returns false. So there's no, no block or no mob ahead of him. Then I'll move up and increment the Y. Same thing with move down. Spinning is the same. Okay, so let's go back up to the top. That's probably easier to do this. Okay, so now I've updated a lot of my functions to use the new uh, go to method. So the first fuel is pretty much the same. Uh, but when the first tree, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dig up all the way to the top and then go back down to the ground um, and then go to his home position. So before I had like turn two times, go forward once, turn two times, uh, rather I can just call go home and he'll go back to the start and get all my fuel. Um, now for dirt and cobble, you remember first I go one step forward just because I know the dirt, so go to one zero zero zero. Uh, grab the dirt, grab the cobble, and after that I'm going to go dig straight down. So that's at x1, y, negative 30. So he digs down, and I get the, uh, go ahead and find which one's the cobble, it's the same as last time. And then um, after that I go forward one, so that's 2, negative 30, and then go up. Because remember my y, it takes care of the y. So if I just went, said go directly to 2, 0, 0, 0, he would just go straight up and then forward, and I don't want him to do that. I want him to go forward first, so I have to have two functions there. So we'll go forward, and then he'll go up. Uh, once we get to the top, we get rid of all the trash, and then we go back to our home state, our home position. And now this is the new, the new one that uh, you guys haven't seen yet, and this is called the hunt trees method. And this is the state that happens after he goes down and gets the cobble and kind of all that dumps, dumps the junk down the hole. Um, he's going to start with a radius of 1. And while the radius is less than 24, and I call this radius, but it's technically a diameter. Um, but it's all right. It's, a, it's the radius of a spiral. And you'll see what I mean in a second. But uh, what he does is um, a loop from one to the radius. So the radius is going to start out at one and it's going to increment every time he makes two turns and that'll make a spiral so he'll keep uh, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so the beginning is just going to go one and then he'll go two and then three and that kind of stuff. Every time he moves forward um, he's going to check for a tree and then he'll uh, when he gets to the edge of the radius, then he's going to turn right and see if there's a tree in the way there. I'll show that check for tree in a, in a second. Uh, then he's going to go straight again. So he'll go up one, over one, then down two, over two, up three, over three, down four, over four, kind of like that. Um, so you see after he goes forward turns, forward turns, then we increment the radius. And we're going to do that till radius is 24. Once it's all done, we're going to and go back to our home state and increment uh, the state, the home position, sorry. And then that's going to call the level platform uh, code, which I haven't written yet. That'll be the next one. So you see our state tables. We've got the state 5 is the hunt trees. That's the one we just added this time. Let's go down and find uh, check for tree. Let's get past the movement stuff. Is this that's the cut tree, here's the check for tree. 
So I know that I have wood in my 16th slot, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to compare what's in front of me. Uh, if that returns a true, I know I've found a tree, so I'm going to go ahead and call the cut tree function. Um, if that's not wood, I'm going to go ahead and see if there is anything in front of me. If there is, go ahead and dig it out. And just call attack at the end, just in case there's something in front of me. Um, the cut tree function is pretty simple. Um, I store where my current position is. So the current X, Y, Z, and facing. Um, the first thing we do if we're at the base of a tree is go ahead and dig what's in front of us and move it forward so we're now inside the shaft of the tree. Then go ahead and compare up to see if it's um, there's wood above him. And if there is, go ahead and keep digging and going up and up and up till we reach leaves. Uh, once we've reached leaves, then we'll go ahead and come down. And this time I need to either compare what's below him to a tree or air. If there's air under him, we can keep moving down. If there's a tree under him, we weren't at the bottom, so keep moving down as well. And then once we reach something that's not air or tree, which is probably dirt, uh, then I'll go ahead and go to the uh, position I was right before I cut the tree down. So I'm returning. And that's it. Okay, let's just go ahead and save this. And I think he's ready to go. He's got zero fuel. Oops. And the state's in the correct place. So I think we're go. Let's let's give him a go. I'm just gonna cut this tree down, use it for fuel, cut the rest of the tree down, and use it for fuel. Return home. Move that uh, tree to the 16th slot and dirt to the 15th. Now he's going to go down and get his cobble. And this will take just a little bit because he's got to go down 30 blocks. Come on, turtle, you're coming back up. Hope he doesn't get stuck down there. Let's give him some light. There we go. Yeah, he's coming up. When he gets to the top, he's going to go ahead and drop anything that's not cobbled dirt or wood back down the shaft. And he did that well. Now he's going to return home. And now he's going to go out and look for trees. So you'll watch his... Uh-oh, uh -oh, something broke there. He should have gone in a spiral pattern, but he just went straight. I think I was witnessing this bug earlier on the stream, so let me try and fix it and I'll be back. Okay, found the problem. Uh, in my move forward and move back, I had removed one of those uh, return trues, and so he didn't know that he was successful. So he should work this time. You'll see him go in a spiral. I just started him from the fifth state. So go up one over one, down two, left two, up three, into the right three. And so he's going to go in a spiral that's ever increasing in size. And I will come back once he's about to get to this tree here, which I think is the first one he hits. You see, he has no problem if he runs into grass. Dirt should be no problem either. All right, maybe next turn he'll get there. There he goes. All right, so get the tree. He'll go up to the top. As soon as he gets to the top, he'll come right back down and get the other one, and then go back to where he was and continue on his way. And is he out of fuel? He 
must. Oh yeah, because I didn't put very much fuel in them. Let's go terminate. Yep, he's out of fuel. Um, he won't. He shouldn't be because we get 18 per plank, and uh, so the very first he's going to get four times 18 is 72. And then once he goes up the tree, he's guaranteed another five. So that's five wood. Times four is twenty. Times seventeen or times eighteen, three hundred sixty. So he's he's got almost four hundred fuel just from the first tree, and I, and every other tree that he gets to. So I think he'll be fine. I don't think I have to worry about a refuel situation at that point. Um, so I'm gonna reset this, run him one more time until he gets out to uh, level 24 and we'll see the final result. I'll be right back. Okay, so there he is in his final state. He uh, he didn't make it out to 24, which is I, what I thought he could do on that amount of fuel. Um, it looks like he made it to about 16, and I don't want to risk him running out. Um, the author of the challenge said he's guaranteed to find another tree within eight blocks of the starting position, so as long as I do like a, a sweep of maybe radius 10, should be good. Um, technically diameter 10. Uh, so I'm going to change that value down to, well if we made it to 16 then let's do 12. And that'll d guarantee us to have maybe one or two trees. How many did he end up with? 15. So he maybe got, what, three trees? Maybe four? Four short ones? I kind of decimated the leaves on this guy. Um, so after that, let's see, after he gets to uh, a radius of 12, he'll go back to the center. And then we're going to go up a little bit, and we're going to basically make a platform. Um, I can't really do what a turtle can do. I'm going to go up four, because I know that that tree will be gone by now. And I know that the tree was at least high six, so there can't be any ground around here. I'm going to make a platform. Oops. Uh, yeah, go up. One, two, three, four. And make a basically a platform like this. Uh, so the turtle will build this, I don't know, maybe at a cobbler or something. And then he's gonna go what does he have in him? Does he have anything else? He to get some seeds and a sapling somehow. Oh, probably from digging the things. Um, so he'll go to this position here and dump a, do a drop down and put all his dirt right here and he'll put all his cobble right here and all of his wood right here and then he'll place three chests uh, like that here and what, um, because he'll have to craft the chests craft uh, planks first and then craft the chest. Put the chest down, then once he's done with the chest, then he'll go suck up all this cobble, put it in there, suck up all the dirt, put it in there, and all the wood in there. So that's my next uh, thing to do, is to put all those in here. And then he might actually put a furnace here, I think is what we're going to do. And then he'll probably break that. So that is the plan. I guess I don't need those. That's going to be kind of this docking station. And yeah, so come back next time and hopefully we'll have that. Don't forget to follow me on the stream and you can watch me build this piece. See you next time. This is from Fungenx. Bye guys.